just a couple of thoughts. I was a civil rights lawyer for 17 years, and then my wife was a judge, and I was a mayor and governor, and often had statutes or ordinances tested by the courts. And so I know the, the chaos that can be created with a situation like we have. But I came in when <coughs> Senator Stab and I was just saying the Senate should do its job. Why would the Senate not do its job under this circumstance? Why would we cut against all past precedent and say that you know, we're not going to even entertain a nominee. And there's two reasons, basically. The first is it's about this particular <coughs> president. This particular president being treated differently than any other president has been treated. Fundamentally respect for this individual. It's not about Judge Garland because they announced their position before his name was on the dock. And so that issue that it is a disrespect to this particular president, President Obama, is not lost on my constituents, Democratic, Republican, or Independent. That's what this is about. And the American people understand that. And I think it is, it is just outrageous. The second thing it's about is, and we've seen this in other instances as well uh, in, in the Senate, it's, it's kind of an anti-accountability strategy. Wait a minute. We Republicans, if we voted no, so if, if the uh, uh, Chair Grassley wants to be a check against the President, great, he can vote no. And if they vote no, that is consistent with the advise and consent clause in Article 2. But what they want to be able to do is not vote yes or no, and then think they can evade the accountability to the American public for their vote. The last thing I'll say that I think is very powerful is the precedent that's being created in this. The Republicans say the precedent is, well, we're doing this because it's the last year of an administration. But there's nothing in the Constitution that conditions anybody's powers, Congress or President, on the last year of an administration. The precedent that they're creating is if you do not like the President, you never have to take a position or even take up a President's nominees. That will be deeply destructive of all three institutions, Judiciary, President, Congress. They will live to regret that precedent, and they should pull back from it.